Welcome to our review on energy dissipation. So one thing that we do need to know is that when we refer to a machine, we're talking about something that's transferring energy for a purpose. And there are two terms that we need to know that's associated with this. The first one is useful energy, and that refers to the energy that's transferred to the store that lets that machine carry out its purpose. The second is wasted energy, which is the energy that's not transferred to that useful store. So in any given machine, what we'll find is some of the energy that's being put into it will go to the useful energy store to allow the machine to do its job, but there will be a proportion of the energy that goes to the wasted energy stores. So what we actually find is that in any energy transfer in a machine, some is useful energy, but the rest is wasted. And that wasted energy is dissipated. And what we mean by that word dissipated is that it spreads out and is transferred to stores that are not useful. So if we consider the example of the lamp at the bottom there, then the useful energy is that which is going into generating the light. Now, what you've probably noticed is that if you've got a lamp on and you put your hand close to it, then it's actually quite warm. So part of the wasted energy is that thermal energy. So what we actually see here is that some of the energy is useful, but some is wasted. In a lot of the machines that we have in our everyday lives, then there are quite a few moving parts. And if a machine has moving parts, then we will have friction between them. And the problem with this is that those moving parts as a result of that friction can actually become quite hot. So what we've actually done in the design of certain machines is find ways to actually cool them down. So some machines do that by using water that's actually put across those moving parts. And good examples of this are tile cutters and certain drills. And because we're putting the water across those surfaces that would normally heat up, then the thermal energy is being transferred from the actual machine to the thermal energy store of the water, and it can then be dissipated to the surroundings from there. So in any machine that has friction, then we will be transferring energy from the kinetic store, the moving part, to the thermal store of the object. Now what's going to happen to that thermal energy within the object over time is that it will be transferred to the thermal store of the surroundings. Now the problem we have is that as energy dissipates, it becomes less useful to us. So the more energy we're transferring to the thermal store of the surroundings, the less energy is going into those useful stores and therefore we're wasting a greater proportion. Hopefully at the end of this video, you can now describe what's meant by the terms useful energy and wasted energy. And you can also describe what we mean when we say energy is dissipated.